libraries of leaders is a bloomberg quint weekly list of what leaders are reading hello and welcome to libraries of leaders with me mahima this week we have with us an author that needs no introduction his shiva trilogy was the fastest selling series in indian publishing history and his sales have crossed over 100 crores amish tripathi welcome to bloomberg thank quint thank you thank you thank you so much Amish, let's start with Shiva. What about him fascinates you so much that you want to tell these stories about him? The Shiva trilogy began as a pure philosophy uh, thesis, mm -hmm. uh, an answer to this question, what is evil? And that got expanded into a story, the idea being convey this philosophy through that story. You were also an atheist for a bit. So how did you transition from that into writing purely about mythology? Yeah, I was an atheist for 10, 12 years. Uh, turned into an atheist in my teenage years and I think writing the first book, uh, writing Immortals of Melua brought me back to faith. Are you a process driven person or do you need a certain environment when you are writing? My first book when I started writing it, I was process driven and through my life I was completely a left brain guy. I, okay. was, I graduated in mathematics, you don't get more left brain than that. Um, but uh, I realized that left brain thinking is useful in my marketing business side of the work uh, but in the creative side no it doesn't work creative side i try and use my right brain a little bit more i go instinctively i okay. need only two things while writing one i need music and second i eat a lot of cream biscuits while writing do you plan on expanding your range of writing i have a non-fiction book coming out soon on uh, august uh, 21st in fact pre-bookings of that are open already it's mm -hmm. called immortal india and uh, it is uh, uh, it's my thoughts and musings on uh, the land that I love, our country, and uh, on various social issues, uh, spiritual issues, uh, historical issues. So what was your thought process behind the Ramchandra series? All the books that I write always begin with a philosophical thought that I want to convey. So as I said earlier, the Shiva trilogy was built uh, on an answer to this question, what is evil? The Ramchandra series is built as an answer to this question, what is an ideal society? Mm -hmm. What is Ram Raja? Yeah. And there are no easy answers because there are different definitions of what Ram Raja is and that's how yeah. the Ramchandra series emerged. So you've spoken about the Vedas, Puranas and Upanishads mm. when you speak about the mm. inspiration behind your books. So is there any other religious of influence? There of course there are and a lot of it is largely based on India. Mm -hmm. So of course from the scriptures of uh, Buddhism, Jainism and uh, Sikhism and also from uh, Indian Islam, Indian Christianity mm -hmm. uh, which in many ways are actually different from uh, from what is practiced uh, uh, you know, abroad. Yeah. Uh, so many of those uh, philosophies and thoughts have also uh, you know impacted me and all of that comes out uh, in the book. So you've uh, done mythology, hmm. you've done, you're now touching upon hmm. philosophy. Hmm. Uh, you're also interested in historical fiction. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I absolutely uh, love history. There are ignored heroes and heroines in, in, uh, in Indian history who have really impacted our land and our culture and their stories need to be celebrated. Uh, so I have some story ideas in mind for such ignored heroes and uh, uh, heroines. So I'll write that too, inshallah. Let's see where life takes me. So now coming to our main question. Hmm. What three books would you name as your favorite and why? Okay, I read a lot. Okay, so I read at least five, six books every month. So it's uh, been reading at that pace for decades. So it's difficult to uh, give an all-time uh, favorite okay. list. How I normally answer this question of the books I've read in the recent past, mm -hmm. uh, which ones have I uh, liked? So uh, I've uh, read Sapiens by Yuval Harari. And uh, I think it's one of the most fascinating books. I read this book by Farhanaz Ispahani uh, called uh, Purifying the Land of the Pure on Pakistan. Oh. On how uh, uh, the minorities out there, you know, uh, uh, Hindus, Christians, Shias, Ahmadiyas, uh, Sufis, how they are, you know, what has happened to them in the last 70 years. A very interesting, uh, uh, very good book. I normally read non-fiction, but I want to hmm. uh, suggest one fiction okay. uh, that I read, which was I found quite fascinating. It's a book called Urna Bihi by oh. uh, this uh, writer called Sumedha Oja. Okay. And it's set in the Mauryan times, okay, uh, in Chandragupta Maurya's uh, time when he's just taken over and Chanakya yeah. uh, ji has helped him take over the Nanda Empire. And, hmm. uh, and there is a, a, a courtesan who becomes a spy 
in Chandragupta Maurya's uh, uh, empire and uh, how she uh, uh, she does her duty and helps the empire in uh, conquering another uh, kingdom and her love story with another spy it's a very fascinating uh, oh. uh, story it's not it's a fiction book yeah. but a lot of research in there so you get a sense of what life was like in in those days as well wouldn't be very nice so is there a period in indian history that fascinates you or you want to record in any way i think the only way to answer this is what period does not fascinate in indian history this this land of ours we've uh, you know we're sometimes we forget the scale of our country uh, our history uh, is in many ways actually a large part of the history of humanity itself and it's so fascinating and uh, we don't learn enough of it because uh, our history books also tend to be very uh north north india and even more specifically delhi focused they mm. don't give enough of the entire expanse of you know of our subcontinent uh it's so fascinating there's so much to learn so there's not one period that i'm not actually a fan of thank you amish for coming in today do tune in for the next episode of libraries of leaders to find out what other leaders are reading thanks for watching bloomberg quint